Hey students says we move towards this online learning. It's important to know where to go if you have problems with your technology. So if something isn't working with your iPad or your laptop, you're going to need to go to the school district website. And when you're at the school district website, I'd recommend that you go to your specific school. And once you've chosen your school underneath families, you're going to see technology help. Again, under families, you're going to see technology help. And then it says that you can click here to contact us for help. So I'm going to pop that open and it's going to say that I'm going to an offsite link. And what it's opening is our help desk system that we use here at school. This is going to be a communication with our technicians who do the fixing of our devices. So it's very important that you're as clear as possible as to what's going wrong with your technology. So in this spot, you're going to put your first and last name in this box. So make sure that you fill that out completely. In here, you're going to do your school email address. Okay, your school email address. And this one, you're going to put a phone number where you can be reached so that they can call you if they want to walk you through something as far as a fix is concerned. Your computer number would be your computer or your iPad number. And if you flip your device over, you're going to see a sticker on the bottom and it's going to give you a number. So for example, if it's a MacBook, it's going to be MBA and then it's going to have a number after it. We don't need all the letters, we just need the number. And for iPad users, again, that number at the end. And then you're going to choose which school you are part of. Here you're going to put a brief overview of what's happening with the device or maybe not happening with the device. So this is really short. Let's say that I cannot get my laptop to start. So I could put on here, won't start. But then here, we need this to be super, super explicit as far as give as many details as you can give here. Um, what have you done? Have you plugged it in? Have you restarted it? Just tell us as much as you can about that. Does it appear to be charging? Any details will help because if you leave this to be super vague, then the technician is going to have to get back to you and ask you more questions and ask you to try some things and it ends up being uh, taking a whole lot longer. Now, if you want to, you can also, if you have a screenshot, so let's say that maybe an error is popping up on your screen and you could do a screenshot of that and then you can say um, check box to attach file and that would allow you to attach a file. Now, notice any of these things that have an orange star by them, cannot be left blank. So if I tried to submit this right now, you're going to see that I'm going to get an error message on here. You're missing necessary information and it's not going to let me submit that. So you can see the things that are required on here in order for you to submit this. Please take good care of your technology. We need this to last through all of your online learning. It would be a pain to have to do all of that work with paper and pencil, so we encourage you to, to be careful with your technology. Have a great day.